Hello, brother. My name is Taylor, and I want to have a real down-to-earth discussion with you about the limitations of semen retention. All over YouTube right now and all over the internet and blogs and articles uh, is this topic of semen retention. And there's videos saying like, it's going to give you superpowers and it's going to change your life and it's going to make you a better lover and it's going to make you a better salesman and it's going to increase your penis size and it's going to make you smarter and it's going to get you a better girlfriend and all this stuff. And I've contributed to this too. And I am a huge fan of semen retention. It totally has changed my life. I love semen retention so much that I actually created an entire online course about it. And a bunch of men have gone through and they've had great results. So I'm obviously a huge supporter of this practice. And I want to say that there are real limitations of this practice too. And I see a major problem out there uh, in the YouTube landscape and the article landscape, which is saying that semen retention is basically the answer to everything. And I get a lot of questions from guys who are finding my content who will say things like, Taylor, I've been retaining my semen for 40 days or 60 days or 100 days and I'm not feeling amazing. Like, what's happening? Like, what's wrong? You know, Taylor, I've retained for 200 days and I'm not feeling incredible. Why not? And it seems like there's this, this thing where people are idealizing the power of semen retention. And yes, semen retention is powerful, but but you can't only retain your semen. You have to do other stuff too. So I remember having a conversation with one guy that had been retaining for like 40 days and he was wondering why he wasn't feel ama feeling amazing. And I asked him like, okay, when's the last time you exercised? You know, <laughs> and it had been a couple weeks. Okay, what kind of foods are you eating? How much water are you drinking? What kind of sleep are you getting regularly? What sort of community connection and friendship are you, you know, involving yourself with? And are you, are you on purpose with your life? Are you moving towards your mission? Like all of this stuff is part of a holistic, comprehensive, you know, package of success and happiness in life. And semen retention is not this one thing that's going to change everything. Semen retention is something that can help you reach a new level of homeostasis and functioning in your life that is generally speaking, going to be better and more powerful than when you were just ejaculating all over the place, for sure. And there's other things you need to do to really optimize your life once you reach this new level of homeostasis. You could change your physical environment. You could start a new practice like yoga and meditation, qigong. You could, you could do any number of things to increase this level of homeostasis that semen retention has brought you to. And it's still important to realize that semen retention has its limits. You know, it's not literally going to make you be able to fly. It's not going to be able to make you teleport. It's not going to be able to make you ejaculate 15 feet, you know, like, it's just not, it's just not. So I, I don't know, maybe that, that might come across as a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a rant. Maybe not. I just think it's something to be aware of and be mindful of. And if you find yourself in a situation where you're you're approaching semen retention from this, this goal focused, like reward, um, this thing, like where you're thinking semen retention is going to change everything for you. Yes, it might, you know, create a new level of internal awareness that will allow you to create better life decisions that will impact, you know, your entire life. But it's not going to like, boom, switch you into an incredibly blissful state always for the rest of your life. You know, it's you're going to have to keep putting work in and effort in. And when you look back at all the old traditions that really paved the way for modern semen retention, like older yogic and tantric traditions, Taoist sexuality traditions, they all say that semen retention is just one part of the whole balanced lifestyle and sexual lifestyle. It's just one piece. So that's it. That is my Tuesday evening video for you. Hope you're having a beautiful day. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And you know, actually, like one more thing I wanna say is that I'm realizing now with the amount of views that these videos are getting, I'm not able to respond to everybody's comments on YouTube, and that's just, that's just the way it is. I am a human and I have my own you know, limits of energy and, and attention, and I'm putting that towards courses, and I'm putting that towards emailing people, and Instagram and YouTube, and there's just, there's only so much time. So yeah, just wanted to be real about that. If you want to try the practice of semen retention, I have a free seven day challenge. I'll link to it beneath this video. I have a whole 21 day course too. There's links down below. Check them out. All right. Peace.